How you doing? Good morning. Did you see any signs when you came in? Yes, the green ones. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I, I came from whatever that street is. Yeah. Yeah, I saw one turn again and saw one over here as well. Okay, so fine. there's they're still up. <laughs> I, I took them down after I passed them so nobody else comes here. <laughs> there you go. But but they were up. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if we did that too. I don't want any competition, you know, so. <laughs> or, or I just turn them around so the arrow's pointing the other way, so yeah. no. <laughs> and nobody knows where to find you. Got some back-to-back uh, -back chilly days over here, huh? Unbelievable. <laughs> we don't usually have this. I start like making a pile somewhere. I'm sure. Stuff that I like. This is supposed to be the table, but hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get this out. So. really there, cool. You can put it right over here on the left. Sounds great. Make sure he doesn't take it. Uh, I don't trust. <laughs> is that what he was doing? I said, make sure he doesn't take my pile. Oh. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I, I see him eyeing my stuff up, so I don't know. Oh. <laughs> this is uh, the guy's job. That's x-ray. I shouldn't be having it. I saw that. I was like, I gotta put it down. <laughs> kids, kids might be watching. You so said there's a community seal or next week? Next weekend. Week, yeah. But you're, you're not going to be here, right? So, no. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be in Tampa next weekend. And Denny doesn't. He's not going to want to do it by yourself. It's, it takes two people. I don't blame him. Or more. Shopping is way more fun than buying. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, than, than having it, that's for sure. <laughs> way, way more fun. Look at that. I, I won a winning Powerball ticket. <laughs> is that, is that hiding somewhere back here? <laughs> I'm from Indiana. God bless you. Uh -huh. And my neighbor's kid went to the boats what last week. Say, yeah. He won 7200 Wow. So last night, yesterday he bought a lottery ticket. He won 2500 <laughs> Where is Where are you finding these things? You gotta rub off on him to do, do, a, do a little magic He's rub in on him. Indiana. Ah, man, I would fly. I believe I owe you 11, but okay. you can tell me otherwise. That's fine. <laughs> this is four, yep. four, eight, ten, and the shoes were one, right? Yep, they uh. are. You need a bag. I would. Do you have change? <laughs> I have I have 21, so I just need a 10. Yeah, I have a 10. Yeah, I don't want to take your ones, you know. Uh -huh. yeah. I only one, one. Well, not. You will now have two. Oh, God. <laughs> that right off top. That was here. one thing we forgot to do. <laughs> We're getting laxed in our in our yard sales. <laughs> Usually that's the first thing. Oh, we got to have change. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me on another yard sale adventure. Today we are in Englewood and Port Charlotte, Florida, two cities that are pretty close to where I live and two cities that I frequently visit for garage sales. What you will see today happened on a Thursday. That's right, Thursday. Back north in Philadelphia, we didn't have that many garage sales 
on Thursday. I don't think I ever went to garage sale on Thursday, but it is a pretty popular day here for sales and I am all about it. An extra day of sourcing is A-OK -okay with me. At this first sale today, I pick up a couple of pretty cool items to resell and one item for me to keep. I pick up the Fiesta Wear Pitcher for $4. If you see the shape of a pitcher in the wild, definitely grab it. Some of the colorways sell for a hundred, even a couple hundred dollars. The one I got was a persimmon colorway, which is not that popular. I'm listing it for 35, but if you see them in like the blues or the greens, like the jade greens especially, that sells for tons of money. But I'm still happy turning four into 35. Then I bought the club club saucepan. Uh, that should sell for about 28. Crocs were sold for $25. We sold to a viewer, uh, Sue in Canada. Thank you, Sue, for your purchase. Uh, those already sold. And then the Bluetooth speaker I kept for myself to listen to some jams in the garage while I am working and packing orders. Altogether, not a bad start. $11 to about $100 in sales for the first sale of the day. And as you will see, the sales will keep getting better and better. Good morning. Cool. Like the color. Nice to have a cool day, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Hoping it warmed up a little bit, but <laughs> it's better than like a hundred already, right? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Easter's well, like three weeks away, I think, right? Is there anything particular you look for? Uh, just anything. Yeah, I see that. You have a little bit of everything, that's for sure. I'll take your teapot. This is really cool. I think I'll take the, the egg dish as well. If it's the purple color you like, that's okay, but I have other egg plates too. That's uh, probably mixed. Oh, they're laying over here. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna use those. If yeah. You're yeah, I like the purple one the most. Yeah, that purple one's kind of neat. Yeah. And that sand is for sale also. Oh, okay. Those are nice soup cups. Yeah, that's a, that's <laughs> a lot of coffee can go in that. Coffee drinkers to pick up. That's why I got all those coffee cups. So I owe you nine dollars, just in time. I'm ready for Easter now. <laughs> have, have a good one. A little chilly. Feels good. Feels good today. <laughs> Paul, you need to make a sign for Buck. All Buck's one dollar. Huh? Take these. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good one now. Good morning. Good morning. Should I know who this is? Pardon? Should I know who this is? Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim? Yeah. So doesn't ring any bells. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tiptoe through the tulips. <laughs> Probably before my time. <laughs> <laughs> You've been busy today? Pardon? Have you been busy today? Yeah, yeah. actually we have, yeah. How much little jelly beans over here? Uh, I don't know. Let me find out for you. Special price today. Two bucks. Two bucks? It sounds like a sold to me. All right. 
Like a sold price. Never seen a banjo at a yard sale before. Uh, right. Never know how to even right. play one. Guitar. It's a whole different animal. I, I thought that's what I figured. It's a whole I different tried animal. It for a little bit. I started to get See, the pattern down, but got a couple of things there. That's a, yeah, a couple guitars there. First act. <laughs> Sonar. It's an entry level. It's, I mean, but it's decent, you know. Because some of those things can get very pricey. Yeah, I've, I've, they get I've, up into the thousands. I, I figured the more unique the the instrument, the pricier it yeah, is. Yeah, when you get the the solid brass ones, that's when you start paying yeah. real money. But then you get the real tone. What are you asking on that one? The banjo. Yeah. With the uh, stainless steel picks, the strings, the tools, the bag, a hundred bucks. Well, that's that's a fair price for. Yeah, I think well, that, it is, really. If I was buying a banjo for myself, $100 is more than fair for it for a starter banjo, but for a resale value, there's not enough meat in the bone for me to flip it. These are just standard electric guitars, right? Nothing special about these? Yeah, I mean, it's just a copy of a Fender Mustang, mm -hmm. but it's got a little bit of, little bit of everything mm -hmm. in it. Still in tune. Yeah, yeah, it stays tuned. It holds tuned very well. Making a cute drop in everything it does here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a hundred right there. Yeah. Guitar selling, center selling for a buck eighty-nine. Cool stuff. Yeah. Cool stuff I don't need, but it's still cool stuff. So. Right. <laughs> you just never know what you might find. I always yeah. look for cool stuff when I stop. Yeah. I never know what I'm looking for until I see it. it, it that's always my mentality. Like I and never I, go in and just go in with an open mind. If it's there, it's there. And I'm like, oh, I didn't think I need this, but I guess. Uh huh, it's fine. Like, I don't think I was going to need jelly beans, but th th they're mine now. Right. Uh, I already paid you for them, right? Or did you I? Did. Okay, all right. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Thank you for stopping by. You have a good one. one. That's so cool. Oh, it's going to be a nice day. Yeah. The yogurt back there. Whoopsie. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm waiting for a green beer. I need a green beer. <laughs> Just start get started early. Well, we get a it. get a green People beer right now. Ah oh, man, you should be selling green beer at the door. I know. <laughs> We're already exhausted. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Now I'm taking that one back. That's low. Oh, I was gonna say it looked like somebody that these are adorable. How much you want for that? No. <laughs> <laughs> On the bicycle? No. No, the juicer. Oh, um, three dollars. Okay, and then this guy. To be careful, you look after this because this is what is best. That's that's this the good This is much though. better than metal or anything because it's a a, a, a marble. Ah, okay. And and it they, it works super so. Sounds good. Yeah, okay, but that that's a good juicer. That we had a restaurant and we used oh, all really? of those. Oh really? Yeah, okay. They're all the commercial ones, the Proctor yeah. Sykes. As you probably know, it's a you no, can't the, buy a lot. The, no, the, that's for stuff. sure. They don't make those anymore. That's no. for sure. Oh, well, they don't. I don't think so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here's three. And how much would you want for this? Uh, um, fifty cents. Or no, you oh, can have it. I'll give Just you a dollar for it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going home. This helps me go home. <laughs> I'm going back to England to my family. Oh, so wow. That every little there bit helps. Go. Thank you. Thank hope you, you very much. Hope you enjoy England then when you go back. Well, I will. <laughs> my family's there. No, that, my that's... nephews say to me, come home, Auntie Shirley, your beer's getting warm. <laughs> so, you know what? It's a good way to go. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's hard. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. 
So these practice Alex juice it sell for about thirty five to forty dollars, but this one's going in my personal collection. It's going in my kitchen. I'm gonna make the most amazing juice out of it. Good morning. Well, good morning. Good morning. How's it going, buddy? Whoever did the signs did a really good job. Well, thank you. Thank you. I was on my way to something else, and then I had to stop. <laughs> and they were very good. I don't have to even put my GPS on just to look. That, that's, that's the goal, at least. <laughs> that's a large Annalie. Holy moly. I've only seen Annalies like six inches tall. I haven't seen like a huge Annalie before. This oh. Is, this is interesting. <laughs> Yeah, we thought so too. Definitely taking it. Forty. Is he standing? There we go. Yeah. You've had enough. <laughs> it's, only, it's, it's, it's only eight a.m. How could yeah. you have enough? <laughs> I'll put it away. Do you have any like video games or anything like that? What system are you looking for? Doesn't really matter. Um, I think my husband's playing the dogs out. I don't even know if we went through, like this was like the most thrown together garage I could ever have. Well, it um, looks I pretty organized to me. Well, <laughs> it took me a few hours. Um, <laughs> but like to go through things. I don't know if he's wanting to part with them. Okay. I think he's letting the dogs out real fast. So if he comes back out, I can ask him. No problem. What about the uh, hubcap, you know, are those for sale? Or? Yeah, those are. I. Let me go grab him and I'll give you a present. Okay. Oh, I think he has the wind. That's Really? The wind is the stick No, okay. Yeah, I saw, I saw a price tag on them. Yeah. He said he'll work with you and no video games. No video games. Got it. I guess I should probably move this up there. Should you do 60 on him? Yes. He okay. will. No, he's inside. So I have those, I have the Santa for 10 okay, and then... And so just do 70 altogether. Do you have change? Yes. Or do I have a turn? I don't. Two, three, four, eight. Yeah. Those are sweet, man. Which one? The hubcaps, they're awesome. Oh, huh? yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, they came off of um they actually came off of this cutlass right there. All right. Back Twenty something years ago. Wow. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take it easy, buddy. All right, ladies and gents. We are back in the backyard now. Hope you guys enjoyed those yard sales. The last sale that I stopped in was not on any map it wasn't on yard sale treasure map it wasn't on the gsalr map it wasn't on facebook it wasn't on craigslist when i was there actually the lady that was running it was taking pictures so i think she was about to post it you know the websites and all that but i was driving to my next sale and i saw a sign you guys know how ace of base says when you see a sign it opens up your eyes. <laughs> you see the sign. I don't know where I was going with that joke, but uh, as soon as I saw the sign, I was like, oops, skirt, we're going here. Because a lot of times when there's a sign and it's not on the map, I wanna go there first, because all the other resellers are going to the ones that are on the map, right? Like everyone's like me, they're following a map, they're going to the ones that are marked. The ones that are not marked usually haven't been hit by any resellers yet. And I think I got this one first and I scored something absolutely incredible. First of all, that Santa was super cool. The three foot Annalise Santa, that was a super rare item. Like I said, I usually find Annalise in about six inches to 10 inches tall. This one was three feet tall, huge, absolutely huge Santa. None of those listed right now on eBay. There were some sold on Wharf Point in the $100 range. Listed mine a little above the Wharf Point sell for 120. Put best offers on it and we will see what that goes for. But I think I can sell it for three digits plus. I'm very happy with that sale. But then those hubcaps were absolutely amazing. And they're from an Oldsmobile. They don't make those cars anymore. 
from one of the best eras, most sought after eras of automobile cars. Uh, so I figured that would be pretty cool. Plus I've seen other resellers sell hobbies before, like my friend Kayla, homeschooling picker, and she made a lot of money on them. So uh, they said 75 for them. I was more happier paying 60. That's about $15 a hubcap. I feel like that was a fair price. As soon as they offered that, you saw her say yes like that. <laughs> she didn't hesitate. She was very happy to say yes. Very happy to see them gone. And they are actually pretty rare, pretty valuable. When I got to the car, I looked them up and my jaw almost hit the floor at how much they were worth. I thought they were worth maybe like $200, $300. There were sold comps for these same exact hubcaps for $500. Five hundred dollars. Uh, that's what I'm. And that's what I'm listing mine for. Listing them for five hundred. Five hundred dollar item at a yard sale that almost nobody knew about. Those feel good when you get to the car and you check those and you see the comp. I was like, wow, that's pretty, pretty awesome. So that's gonna be it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like always, here from Doc Sasha. Peace out.